promise to share how to boost a child's self-esteem and confidence, and today I'll discuss the five research-backed tips. Working with parents and kids in our online school and enrichment program, I see that confidence and self-esteem are often more important than skill sets. Now, let me tell you about a story about a girl that was part of our education program. Let's call her Jamie. And she came in with very low self-esteem when it came to schoolwork. Janie mostly struggled in math, but it was affecting her self-esteem overall and her perception of school. After assessment, it was clear that Janie's skills were actually pretty good, but she did have some gaps. But it was her low self-esteem that was making her freeze up during tests, in math class, and even tutoring. Now, first, we started working with her to address some of her knowledge gaps and specific math skills. It was actually long division. And when she started making progress, Janie started to feel more and more comfortable with math operations. And by the end of the year, she actually said that she feels confident in math. And all the while she was working on her mindset and other methods I'll tell you about. So confidence and self-esteem are one of the most important traits a parent can instill in their kids. And based on this work, we have learned these five secrets. So first, teach your kids not to fear mistakes. Mistakes are not failures. Mistakes are something that can happen daily as we're learning new things and are challenging ourselves. Even failure should always be an option for your kids if they're taking a risk and it's an opportunity to grow and make progress. The second tip is self-affirmations. Now, these are positive statements we tell ourselves. Now, pick some affirmations together with your child that resonate with your child. Things like, I'm strong, I'm a leader, I choose to feel happy, my brain is powerful. I can do hard things, or I'm good at and fill in the blank. Write these on a whiteboard or on the mirror, make a poster, practice saying them on the way to school. Third, build on your child's strengths, talent, and passion. Find something your child is good at and help them flourish. Support them in their interests, their talent, and their passion. And this will build their self-esteem and spread to other areas of their lives. Fourth, Set to implement goals together. These should be concrete and achievable with hard work and persistence. Have steps or micro wins that you can celebrate in the process. The goal should be on making progress and growing rather than solely on the final outcome. And fifth, build confidence through competence. Now, if a child is lacking confidence in a particular skill, first build a minimal level of competence in this. And the aim should not be to be perfect or brilliant, but rather competent. And demonstrate through this process that progress can be made step by step by improving a skill, rather than hoping to be immediately an A student in math or score the most goals in a soccer game or be the most popular kid at school. So make progress, gain competence. Thank you for watching, and I hope you've benefited from these five tips on how to improve your child's self-esteem. Thank you for watching. If you're enjoying this, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos.